Hey guys, it's Nick from BunBunzai.com, and today I'm going to talk to you, well, really tell you about a guide to bonsai tools. Now, before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in pruning, trimming, and sculpting, and just learning how to do them in general, your bonsai tree. Then go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now into the topic at hand, which is me telling you about a guide to bonsai tools. Well, to practice the art of bonsai, you must have the proper tools. Uh, so I'm going to list and describe the more common bonsai tools. Uh, when you first start out, you'll not need all of the tools listed, and depending on your level of involvement uh, in the art of bonsai, you may never need them all. So, pruning and cutting tools. Pruning and cutting tools are used for any cutting that's too heavy to be performed by scissors. So you have a concave branch cutter. Uh, these are heavy duty cutters designed similar to bolt cutters. They're used to cleanly and smoothly remove fairly large, you know, for bonsai, fairly, li uh, fairly uh, large branches. You have the spherical knob cutters which are similar to the branch uh, cutter except the cutting piece is spherical. Uh, they're designed to cut through heavy knobs and knots in the trees. You have a folding prune saw. Uh, this is a small rough cut saw that with a blade um, you know, it folds back into the handle similar to a pocket knife. Uh, they're used for he uh, cutting heavy branches or when you need to cut the trunk of your bonsai tree. So parents just think of heavy branches, or very heavy branches, and the trunk of your bonsai tree. You have shears, which you can use them for, um, you know, like light cutting jobs, medium cutting jobs. They're, you know, regular things. It's like just scissors. You have woodworking gouges. Gouges are used for multiple artistic purposes in bonsai. They are frequently used to remove bark or to score the trunk and to stimulate natural damage to a tree. Bet you didn't think that there's a such thing that would actually damage your tree. You also have scissors, which are just a staple tool for all bonsai enthusiasts. Uh, they come in various shapes and sizes to handle various jobs. We all know what a scissor is. A leaf cutting scissor. Well, it's just as the name implies. They're used mainly for light work like pruning back or removing leaves. You have the shoot trimming scissors, which is a heavier set of scissors designed to cut small to mid-sized shoots or branches. You have heavy-duty shoot uh, scissors, um, which these are an even heavier pair of scissors designed to cut all the shoots that are too large for the regular shoot scissors, but it's too small for a pruner. So, talking about some potting tools, the pot that you keep your bonsai in is very important for both its health and proper development. Bonsai need frequent repotting and root modification. Younger ones about once every year, uh, and older ones about once every five years. Eventually it gets about five years that you need to repot them. So these are tools uh, that are most useful for those tasks. One would be the root hook. Strange name, but these are used to separate the root ball into a more manageable, manageable form uh, for trimming and pruning. They're a heavy wire bent at one end and usually sharpened, uh, you know, fairly sharpened. You have a potting trowel. Uh, this is just a small garden trowel that will get used to dig and manipulate the soil in your bonsai plant. You have soil scoops. These are actually like little small metal or plastic cups with a handle and the open is, is to cut uh, into a shoot, uh, like a scoop shape. They're used to remove or to add soil to the pot. You have a brush. Well, the soft brushes are used to lightly clean and maintain the trunk, branches, and leaves of the bonsai. Very delicate. And you have wire tools. Wires are uh, frequently used to train the bonsai into a proper artistic form. There are mul There's a multitude of tools used to work with wire. Most of these are available at any hardware store or even automotive stores. You have common wire snips. These are common wire snips that are frequently used by electricians. They should be heavy enough to handle any aluminum wire used for bonsai. You have heavy duty wire snips. These are just a heavier version of the snips listed above uh, that might be needed if you're uh, working with some heavier than average or normal wire. Pi uh, pliers. 
uh, common household pliers are used for bending and twisting the wire into the proper shape and position. You have needle nose pliers. These pliers that, uh, that come to a fine point and are useful for working in tight confines around trunks and branches. Then you have your miscellaneous, which is uh, you know some general tools that don't really fit the other categories. You have chopsticks. Yes, chopsticks, like metal chopsticks. Uh, these are perfect for tamping and working the soil down around the roots of the tree. A very delicate and precise thing. You have your gardener's knife. Uh, this is handy for many of the heavy, non-delicate cutting that you'll have to do. You have a rake, I'm talking about a small rake, just like a garden or a yard rake, except it's a miniature form and is used to clean and maintain the surface of the soil. Then you have just tweezers, which are just often necessary to do work around a limited space, um, you know, on many bonsai. It's a very limited space, and you just need something small like tweezers to deal with stuff. So that's all I've got today. There's your list of bonsai tools. And if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt, then make sure you check the link above. And I'll see you in the next video.